Hi, I'm Nakul Roshan Sohdev. I am professionally an actor and I love to read and sometimes write. So this is what I essentially do. I, I dream and I am a loner. And I personally feel that to be an artist, it's very important to be a loner. Because if you're always crowded by people around, when will you listen to your voice and when will you focus on telling your story? So coming to the point, it's really important. As a human being, we are born to tell our stories, right? I mean, we have seen our grandparents or our parents. They'll be like, "Jab main school mein tha ya thi, this is what we used to do." They, everybody wants to tell their story. So you know, if you want to enter an industry of anything related to arts, I want you to sit down with a pen and a paper, and this is what you should do. You should write down, thinking that you have all the resources in the world, and then what do you want? What do you want your story to be? You know what I mean? And that's that. That should be your motto and mission. But the journey doesn't end there. That's like your benchmark. This is where I start. And then go out, live your journey. You will find a lot of difficulties. Talking about my own journey, uh, I still remember 20th July 2006, and that was that was the day. And I was like, it was around four o'clock in the night, and I was like, I want to be an actor now. What do I do? And my parents knew that I was a rebel, and I'll next day I got up and I'd be like, I want to be an actor. Like, ha ha, yeah, another thing you want to do. I was like, no, I'm serious. Okay, then I had two more years to complete my school, essentially high school, 11th and 12th. I did that, and then uh, my parents saw that that he's really serious about it. So I told them that I don't need your money. I'm gonna go out, do my graduation, and after that, I'm gonna go into acting. That time. Thank God, luckily, my parents, uh, my dad flew down and he was like, why don't you go to a film school? And uh, I was like, no, but I know that's really expensive and I don't need your money because in the back of my head, I was like, I don't want a few years down the line, you're like, you know, you wasted so much money of mine, what are you doing? I don't want to answer to anyone. So first of all, another important thing is aim to be independent. The, the day you are independent, you can follow your dreams much easily without answering to people. You know what I mean? So after that, uh, he told me that you know you'll go and join Bcom Honors. Uh, I was enrolled in uh, NMIMS uh, School of Commerce, which was uh, and uh, the degree was as far as I remember Bcom Honors. Yeah. So then my dad was like, uh, you know, you'll go here, you'll study this, you'll still waste my money because Mumbai is an expensive city to live, and why don't you go to this film school, Whistling Woods, dedicate that time. To actually do what you want to do and learn what is essential for that particular field, because I had no knowledge, I didn't. Know. So the intake, the July intake was shut because by the time you get your mark sheets and everything, I, I I couldn't apply for that batch. So I applied for the Jan batch. Trust me, six months I was doing nothing, and uh, that's I was like, okay, I'll try and do something. I'll try and go to college till the time I. Yeah, I get enrolled in January batch because I wasn't sure that whether I'll get the admission or not. I couldn't do anything because, and that's when I realized that I maybe I'm not meant or born to do anything. And this is what I want to do. I used to just sit at home at that time. Luckily, I used to read a lot because that's something which always stayed with me from my childhood. Because I, I'm I'm big time about stories, and you know, essentially, again, I'm focusing on it. Story. That's what matters. So figure out your story. So coming back to the point, after that I joined Whistling Woods, and uh, I am, I am very egoistic in the sense not to other people but to myself. You need to upscale your game, go out there, and be more demanding to yourself. You know, and uh, sports played um, a big part in my life. So when I was in school, I re represent North Zone of India in basketball. That's where. Uh, that's where I. Got the attitude of never give up. That's very important. Like a lot of people around you will give you different ideas. They don't know anything what's going in your field, but you need to see where you're going wrong, what needs to be corrected, and that is going to happen only when you're spending time with yourself. You can have ten thousand friends, but that see friends are like songs in the movie. They don't serve any purpose to the story. They are only there to lighten up the mood, so only use it for that part. I mean, no disrespect to friends; they are important, but the importance is only to that level. The more time you spend with yourself, the faster you'll go ahead in life. Now, coming to the point of being talented, 
I am the least talented actor, I think. But I'm the most hardworking one that I can challenge to anyone. You know, because talent is, oh, I, I personally feel it's, uh, it's overrated. What do you mean by talent? Like, think about it. If you compare Sachin's match to the first match and to the match he played when he was 40, do you think they're equal? No. As you do every project, the number of time you rehearse, you get better at it. So, you know, don't, when someone says, oh, you are a bad actor, you are a good actor, trust me, they are just giving their advices. And in India, three fields, politics, cricket, and acting. Everybody has advice about it. Because it's like, haan, wo hai, haan, wo bura hai. Don't listen to people, don't listen to their ideas. Listen to your own thing. There are times when I go and approach a scene and they say, it's clearly written in the script, you have to cry. See, the idea is it needs to hurt me deeply, not to make me cry. I, I might be that kind of a person, if you have hired me as an actor, use my emotions, right? Don't, don't impose your emotions. I will give you a truest emotion of what I feel, how I feel. But the way you express it is different. So focus on feeling things the same way now, when you go for an audition, let's be very clear. Ads you do to run your kitchen. Ads I do is to run my kitchen. So don't benchmark yourself when you are doing a TV commercial that, oh, you know what, did I do good or bad? Everybody, I think the success ratio in terms of getting an ad is uh, 100 is to 5. But if the same thing is happening with you in terms of when you're auditioning for film or television, then you don't have to consider yourself bad. You just like, I learned my lines, trust me, when I auditioned for Gully Boy, I'll tell you a story about Gully Boy, how I got it. So the first time, first round of audition, they called me and I'm like, okay, just another role they're approaching for, let's go and give the audition. They're like, okay, you're shortlisted, you have to meet Zoya on Wednesday. I was like, fine. I was like, but what, are, what is she meeting me for? What is it? And I, w I was curious, right? And after that, I went there and they're like, these two scenes you have to do. I, I learned the lines. But that was the worst audition of my life and I knew it. I went home and I was crying and I was like, you know what, you are, you are shit. Either you improve yourself, I went out for running, I came back, there was another web series that I was doing at that time. I was like, okay, focus on this, but you know, you need to improve. There were all sort of negative um, thought process going in my head. Uh, maybe I'm not cut out for the big game, everything. And I, then after that, I was like, no, I'm not going to give it up. Like, I have given eight, eight, nine years to this. I'm not going to, or what else I would do? So, never have a plan B. Luckily, they called me again and um, they gave me the scene. And you can ask my brother, that scene, uh, if I'm not exaggerating, minimum, I must have rehearsed that scene more than 1,200, 1,300 times. Uh, my brother, there's another friend of mine, Ankit, he, they were coming and they were like, Nakuli, I think you're overdoing it and you're gonna, you know, you're gonna screw it up. But I personally feel there is nothing called overdoing or over rehearsing or uh, overworking or, uh, you know, running yourself out. No, you're just polishing, you're just polishing. And if you can do that, that's, that's when you're gonna make your mark. So, that, that, there are a lot of mentalities. I mean, this is my mentality. You can have your own way. Uh, but I will share with you what worked for me. And from that day on, I, I made it a point that, you know what? I might not be talented, but I will be the hardest working actor. And this is what I want to tell you, that focus on becoming the best in terms of being best at the rehearsal. I remember Galipa, I knew everybody's lines. You, that, that has been with me from other projects, that web series I did, I knew everybody's line. If you'll see my, my, uh, my script, it's like, it's filled with notes. I'm not that kind of an actor, yeah, you know, I'm gonna go on set and be like, oh yeah, I know my lines, let's do it. That's what I'm here for, I'm not here for that fat paycheck. You know what I mean? If I, I know for sure that if I go and try and make my mark in business, I'll earn 10 times more money. But money is a byproduct. See, whether you go in any field, money is always a byproduct. So tell your parents also. And this is something I want to tell the parents especially, that um, 
you know don't focus or your your your, your don't use your kids as a visiting car or don't use their their balance sheet as a visiting car they are a human being they are here to tell their story so focus on see imagine when they are 70 when they are 80 what will be what will be their story what will be their telling their grandkids that okay this is what i did this is how i lived so that's what so something about indian culture which i majorly want to change i love my indian roots but the way we function as a society it's it's terribly wrong that's why i don't associate with it that's why i'm a loner and i'm proud to be a loner so for you guys be a loner be a mad loner and yes follow your dreams there will be hardships but if you'll enjoy the process it will not be a hardship it's like you playing in a playground falling rubbing your dust out and going out in the field again and that's how it should be that's why passion is important in life thank you so much